Farmington Hills, Michigan is filled with four bed, two and a half bath homes that can be snatched up for $400,000 or less, but it's also home to a lot of very pricey real estate, including one of my all time favorite flips. This place sold for over a million dollars and it's beautiful. Oh, you have to see the before and afters of this place. So if you're interested in the most expensive homes that have sold this year in Farmington Hills, you're in luck because I dug up all of them. Ready? Because we're starting now. here and new to me, welcome. My name is Paul and I make videos about all sorts of cities and areas all over Metro Detroit, Michigan. So if you like what you see, consider subscribing. And if I haven't covered a city that you're interested in, let me know. I take requests and I'll, and I'll take care of it for you. And if you'd like to buy or sell a home in Metro Detroit, reach out. I would love to help you. I've helped hundreds of people buy and sell homes all over the area. My contact information is all below, but you can just Google my name and you'll find me. I guarantee it. So let's get into this list starting at White Tail Court. Now this is a brand new subdivision. It's located at the corner of Nine Mile and Halstead. And this place is so new, they don't even have photos of it, but it sounds very fancy and the, and the pictures, like the sketches, look great. The original listing price on this home was $599,000, but it ended up selling for $812,000 after all of the additions and upgrades that were added to it. Next up on our list, we're at Scottsdale Road in Farmington Hills. Now this house is located at 14 Mile in Inkster and it sold for $825,000. Original list price was $895,000. So somebody got quite the deal on it because this place is four beds, five and a half baths, and it's over 7,000 square feet. I mean, 7,000 square feet, where can you get 7,000 square feet for that amount of money. Not a lot of places. Awesome. It also has like 3,600 square feet on the finished lower level. I mean, that is nuts. Next up on the list, also located at 14 Mile and Inkster Road. That is a popular spot. We're at Lake Hills Road. This one again, listed at $889,000 and it sold for $825,000. Very expensive real estate, right? Four beds three and a half baths, and over 5,000 square feet on the main level. This place is beautiful. Everything is redone on the inside of it. I love that they didn't go over the top on this one either. Next up on the list is Quaker Valley Road. Now this one is my favorite flip in the area. One of the best flips I've seen in a long time. It sold for $1,125,000. The past owner bought it for $375,000, but man, did they do a lot of work to it. Check out some of the photos because it is beautiful. No expense was spared on this one. Now that place is tucked away at 11 Mile and Farmington Road, so it's sort of tucked back and it's on over a half acre, 0.72. That's a big lot. Next up on our list is Howard Road. This house is 8,300 square feet and sold for a whopping $1.4 million. Oh, it's ridiculous, but it's so nice. It's such a big, beautiful home. The total square footage on that place is 11,955 square feet. That is a giant, house, right? My friends over in California, they know that for $1.4 million, you would not get 12,000 square feet. That would not happen in a lot of other areas. So if you have that sort of budget, come here, come to Michigan. So what do you think? Would you pay $1.5 million for a 11,000 square foot house in Michigan or in Farmington Hills? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you'd like to move to this area, let me know. Uh, if not, check out some of the other cities and areas around here and I'll see you there.